Pisces. So you could be rem remembering someone right now, Pisces. It's like, hey, I remember when, or remember way back when, or you could just have like good memories with someone. All right, you could be a spiritualist, Pisces. All right, with the Hierophant energy or a teacher of some sort of any level, or you could just be sought after and looked up to. What's the energy for Pisces? Make sure y'all like the live, as y'all can like the video. All right, like, comment, and subscribe. I feel like this is something that you've been working for a while, or that you've been kind of building. All right, I'm not sure what this is for you, Pisces, but we're gonna find out what's going on for my Pisces crazy. This has to be your fate, your destiny. When it comes to a home, or a foundation, other here, when it comes to some sort of like husband or a good partner, when it comes to the sun card and the emperor here, these are two definitely like boundaries when it comes to kind of a mass or like, a, yeah, masculinity, action, creativity. Okay, along the lines of that. We have the death card energy. So even some sort of, this could be a Scorpio or even transforming some sort of um, energy or um, energy or situation for lack of better terms here. You could feel like nobody, someone stays the same. Like, I don't know, like, you and this person could have, I'm not sure what this is. This is energy Pisces creators. Okay, this has to do with some sort of romantic interest. You could want to transform a romantic situation or a partnership, collaboration, okay? Yeah, continue to put energy into something. You see something as very lucrative, Pisces, or someone could see, you know, you and them as a very lucrative opportunity, not only for just for the finances, but also primarily for the finances, what I'm getting, but I'm also getting um, when it comes to kind of, you know, um, coming together with someone and actually having some sort of um, connection, okay, kind of operating out of that, like, energy, frequency, and vibration of love. I have a pinnacle too. You could have left somebody from, like, a housing um okay about the truth about a, a fine uh, foundation yeah something that someone could have been wishing for or actually dreamed about or you could be taking action or prioritizing the truth of your dreams okay something along the lines of that and like how much work taking you to kind of progress forward or get to where you are um the stature that you are kind of in at the moment with the four wands in it. Hmm. What's this, Pisces? Creatives. This could be something that you have created too. You could have created some sort of foundation for yourself and like you're really like, what are people, yeah, exactly. You could literally be sitting on top of something here, Pisces. I get like you're sitting on your throne here, right? I feel like you can like, others can't, can't take you off of this, whatever this is for you, Pisces. Is it something that you fortified or like built for yourself? Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands though, but someone is very, there's an individual here, this could be this two of chalices person. You view someone as someone very ex expressive, of fun. Um, you could really think someone's cute. <laughs> they could be, um, what's the term? What's the term I'm looking for? They could be like, um, spontaneous. And you could like that about them. Yeah, we have the new ones to the queen of wands, so it's like this person could even have a balance of their mascu or masculinity or femininity here. Okay, this is LGBTQIA plus energy and channel. So let's take the energy as it resonates. I'm definitely getting a balancing of energy. This could be you and this individual kind of matching each other's primitive or prim primal. Um, that's what I said, or that's what I was getting with the uh, sun and the emperor card as well here. All right, definitely something about like standing up, okay, like showing up, okay, you and this individual could both be seen or be viewed by others here, okay, or even like, I'm getting like a makeover. Also, you could want to give someone a makeover or someone could be wanting to get a makeover. I see you could be getting like a makeover, I'm not sure. Changing your expression up. Or maybe you could have recently changed up your expression when it comes to something. Yeah, that's so interesting because my visionary message was um, kids don't fall in love no more. And now I'm like, <laughs> the energy is shifting. It's like, well, I got love, fuck your money. All right, so this is, so, this is love here. 
I feel like this was this was started and kind of foundationalized and built on some sort of love, dude. Okay, but I see like there is some sort of financial standing of kind of on the foundation of this. What's this, Pisces? Pisces creatives? Yeah, Empress Energy. This is you, Pisces, all right, in your Empress Energy. Or there could be... You could want to transform someone and kind of make you view someone as your empress. This is your empress, okay? I don't know what this energy is. You are the empress, okay? Take that as it resonates. If you feel kind of like a little out of your power or feel like, you know, you're kind of oh, guessing on like, you know, your energy or like second guessing, like, how, you know, your empress, uh, this is you. Like, you are the empress here, okay? But we also have the king of swords here so this is someone very analytical here that you could be working with or wanting to work with or pour into each other here. like i said kind of exchange energy i feel like uh you view something as very uh abundant and uh fruitful which is why you will want to get yeah and fun things something will be so much fun i feel like you and this person can really come together and have a lot of fun with one another and okay? more specifically this is something that makes you feel good pisces and that's what you're really focused on and wanting. You're like, fuck your mind. Like, I'm just trying to, you don't want to feel good. Even though you're working, okay? I definitely see that you, this could be some sort of co co coming together, some sort of um, creation here, okay? Kind of like working and having fun, finding fun and work here. It's kind of what you're trying to figure out or what this individual, you and this person are trying to figure out, okay, how can we do this? that and the other because you want to make sure you have a higher and in, in vibrational or higher and light kind of career path or field something that you could be uh set on something that could be comfortable that you can cushion that you can actually kind of fall back on with the king of coins dude. something that's stable fun and emotionally fulfilling we have the ten of swords i also got the three of swords <clears throat> yeah you're not one to be down like who wants to be in this like with this like ten of swords energy, this three of swords, four chalices here, you're looking for a three of cup partnership or collaboration. This could be something like hella comp competitive here in like the best way, right? But I'm also seeing high priestess energy coming up here, okay? Someone definitely, like I said, you could be a spiritualist, a spiritual, okay? You and this energy, this could be some sort of spiritual collab coming together or collaboration with the higher fit and the high priestess here as well, here, Pisces. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Have you all this fire sign energy, someone that you just find extremely attractive, very open, um, super expressive. I like the way this person communicates, okay? It's a point. I feel like you have emotions for this person, okay? I feel like this is something that you're wanting to fly here, but something makes you feel, you're like, this is a perfect collaboration. This doesn't even have to be completely love like romantically but i'm getting like you fuck with someone like you really vibe with someone 